Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT Evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Fuzz1304, on how to enable the display of the IK goal for IK solvers. So here I have a brand new scene. Let's start by going ahead and creating some bones. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop to my top view. Hit Alt-W in order to make this full screen just a little bit easier to see. Let's go into Animation, Bone Tools, and Create Some Bones. I'll just click to create a couple bones here just so we can kind of see how this is working. Okay, so uh, we have our bones created here. Now let's go ahead and apply an IK solver to these. So let's come back into animation, IK solvers. Uh, let's use a, something like a high solver. I don't know, just, uh, just to kind of show this. Uh, we can select our end bone there to attach that. Okay, so we have our IK solver that's been attached, uh, but it's kind of hard to see our IK goal, or IK goal rather, that's been applied to this IK chain. Well, over here, if we come, if we scroll down and find the IK display options rollout, we actually have the ability to adjust uh, what sort of things are enabled for display for this IK uh, solver. So if we want to enable something like our end effector, we can do that. We can also scale up the size if it's kind of hard to see. Uh, because by default that is disabled. We also have the goal display. So as we can see that is enabled, but it's really hard to see. Now if we zoom in really close, we can actually see it here. There it is right there. It's just really, really hard to see because it's so small. So we can size this up if we need to. If we want to make it really large, maybe something like uh, 50. <laughs> we can really start to scale that up so we can see it really easily. It really kind of depends on uh, our project, what sort of things we're working on, and how we want to be able to see that. Uh, but if we do have that disabled, once again, we can enable or disable that goal display right here in the IK display options uh, rollout for our IK chain. So that's a look at how we can enable the IK goal here in the IK display options. Now, if you want to learn some more great rigging workflow tips, check out the Introduction to Character Rigging in 3ds Max course.